In many SPDC oil fields, large volumes of gas are produced along with crude oil when it is brought to the surface. This is commonly referred to as associated gas. What to do with gas that comes with crude oil from the ground has posed a major challenge to the oil industry in Nigeria for many decades. Today, most people agree that continuous flaring of associated gas must be reduced significantly. On one hand, flaring contributes to greenhouse gases that cause climate change and on the other hand, it is a waste of resources and revenue. Shell's current global strategy is to grow its production of oil and gas to meet the increasing customer demand for energy. In Nigeria, the Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria Limited, SPDC, through its Southern Swamp Associated Gas Solution, Domestic Gas Supply and Associated Gas Solutions Soda Projects, is aligning with this global strategy and has designed a suite of projects primarily targeted at gathering and processing natural gas for domestic supply as well as providing flares down solutions on existing facilities. Soda is a combination of a number of uh, projects. Uh, this project is uh, very important in the company program. It's all for the, uh, the benefit of the nation, the benefit of um, uh, of uh, I mean, keeping the global warming uh, out of our doors, and of course, uh, more importantly, is uh, monetizing the hydrocarbon resource base that this country has, uh, and giving power, electric city, to uh, to the people of the nation. That's what it's about, and that's the uniqueness about soda. It's um, it's such a, a such a combination of value-adding uh, portfolio. Two main benefits that the whole soda um, portfolio will bring. Um, one is to bring gas to the domestic grid, um, therefore supplying gas to the power plants that the uh, Nigerian government are currently building, which will in turn provide electricity, light, to a lot of communities, um, in uh, particularly the, uh, the Niger Delta. The other one is to, to reduce the flaring significantly from all the uh, oil field developments that we have around the Niger Delta. So to bring down the, the flaring volumes to comparable levels as in, say, Europe or the United States. The team is implementing projects involving over 400 semi-skilled and skilled workers across the Niger Delta in both brown and green fields from Otumara, located west of the River Niger, to Abada, in the eastern flank. Because the, the soda portfolio is such a big, uh, a big portfolio of projects, we have split the organization up into four execution areas and teams to execute those projects. One dedicated to the Southern Swamp AG Solutions project, one to the Fokada Jokri Integrated project, um, one to the uh, domestic gas and AG solutions projects and then one for the pipelines that are associated with all these projects. I'm looking after six projects in the east which are under the ambit of um, the soda uh, department. Those six projects, their portfolio of domestic gas projects and uh, associated gas solution projects. The domestic gas projects are aimed essentially at developing gas reserves to provide gas to power uh, new power generation plants that are being built by the federal government, whilst the AGS, that's the AG Solutions projects, are focused at ensuring that we put out flaring. Flaring is the associated gas that comes off uh, oil when we are producing oil, but we, we flare it routinely in some of our flow stations. The SODA team is tapping into the opportunity that exists in Agbada Field near Port Harcourt to supply an additional 80 million standard cubic feet of gas to make up part of the identified 250 million standard cubic meter shortfall in the current eastern domestic gas market. Also, the project includes gathering of Agbada 2 flow station gas to be fed into the Eastern Domestic Gas Network 
through a new non-associated gas plant to be installed at Agbada 2. The project involves drilling wells. Uh, we've drilled two wells already and then we'll lay flow lines and then we are installing uh, 80 million scarf of two trains of 40 million scarf plant that will process that gas and then put it in the eastern domestic grid that will go then to power to, to provide gas to power plants that are nearing completion and so that will really help the country to meet its aspirations with respect to power generation. SPDC is at the forefront of gas development and utilization in Nigeria having pioneered the production and delivery of gas to consumers for over 40 years. The Forkados Yokri Integrated Project is a major brownfield oil redevelopment and associated gas gathering and export project located at about 50 kilometers southwest of Wari in the western part of the Niger Delta. The project covers development of new oil reserves by drilling new oil wells and providing gas lift for existing wells in the field to enhance oil production. The scope also includes installation of new estuary, south bank, north bank and Yokri flow stations, gas gathering and export plant at north bank to comply with flares down policy. The gas will be gathering from these fields will be used for electricity generation and we'll be exporting um, some of it. So on the, on the short term, we stop flaring. On the longer term, we're going to affect and impact the lives of the communities around this location. The Western Interim Gas Projects, Ugeli and Atorogu NAG development, entails installation of a new 150 million standard cubic feet non-associated gas plant facility, Utorogu NAG 2, and the rerouting of new and currently producing Ugeli East non-associated gas wells to the new gas plant at Utorogu. When we started some five uh, years ago, uh, many of uh, the projects which became Soda today were perhaps projects that were going nowhere. Being able to, 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 to bring value out of them, uh, which is beneficial to all the shareholders and all the stakeholders, it makes me happy. And when I look at what the guys are doing today, uh, it's even more promising. Through the use of simple yet effective technology, a highly competent and motivated workforce driven by the Shell Goal Zero safety policy, the SODA project team has been able to overcome the huge challenges posed in executing such a complex project in a difficult terrain. I've always said to the SODA team, it is more important to me that they, they, they build something that is simple and actually can be manned in this country, uh, Nigeria, and is robust enough to withstand the test of time uh, over the next uh, two decades. The Alakiri project covers the refurbishment of existing non-associated gas plant and an installation of NAG plant off-gas compressor, as well as the installation of 65-kilometer length 6-inch NAG flow lines. Boni Associated Gas Solution is also to be completed under the first phase Associated Gas Solution. The Boni Flow Station Associated Gas Solution project involves the installation of a 5 million standard cubic feet high pressure booster compressor at the flow station. The BNAG bulk line supplies natural gas to the BNAG plant which processes gas and thereafter supplies to the Nigerian liquefied natural gas and fuel gas used for power generation at Boni Terminal. The AG compression facility shall also provide additional support functions for the flow station such as a new vertical flare to provide pilot flame 
and for use during process emergencies in line with industry safety standards. What we are doing is install a first stage compressor and then with its ancillary equipment, the fuel gas system, the instrument air system, power generation system, the MCC and fire building, just to be able to harness the gas, control it, and send it to Boni Terminal. The elimination of routine flaring from Boni Flow Station will not only enhance reputation from an environmental perspective, but will protect the 10 million barrels per day of oil production from Boni Flow Station and reserves from Boni and Boni North Fields. The Adibawa Associated Gas Solution AGS project, one of the AGS Phase 1 suites, is making remarkable progress with the pipe laying works as well as the foundation construction. The objective of this project actually, we are installing a 1 by 5 million square um, compressor, booster compressor at Adibawa flow station to gather all the associated gas from Adibawa fuels and then transport it through this pipeline to Baran CPA for processing. The project scope includes the installation of a 5 million standard cubic meter booster compressor to gather, compress and deliver associated gas from Adibawa to the Baran Central Processing Facility through an 8 inch by 30 kilometers pipeline for further compression and treatment before being delivered into the domestic gas pipeline to the Bielsa State Independent Power Plant or to the NLNG export line. Alongside all these field developments, Project Global Memorandum of Understanding, PGMOU, has been put in place to help maintain the cordial relationship with the communities. To ensure the neighboring communities in project areas are carried along, there has been power supply upgrades and field-wide electrification and water networks sourced from existing SPDC facilities under the community's interdependency projects. Here at Idagwebi Betterland, close to the Adibawa project, the community has embarked upon projects that will bring about an improved quality of life such as a housing scheme, electrification project. In addition to these ongoing projects, 30 motorcycles were purchased by the community with funds provided through the PGMOU for 30 youths under its mini transport to wealth scheme. In this area where transportation is still at the local level, these bikes you see is the easiest and cheapest means of carrying people to various destinations and so with this bike it's going to make a good start for me my family everybody i think uh, we are going for better things at Ngbodo alu in ikwere local government area of river state construction of four unit one bedroom flats is ongoing on completion this will address the accommodation challenges in this semi-urban town according to ken nwobun Community Trust Chairman. What we have acquired from this Domgas project, the land is 13 plus of land and will not end at this, we will also continue. So that in the next 25, 50 years to come, our children, our grandchildren will be able to see, ah, this is what our people have done with the Domgas money. They don't know what is Domgas, they don't know when the project came up, but we are able to use it for something. The dream of the community is to develop an estate to be named Domgas Estate. Also, at Iguruta Town, near Potakot, the Agbada Field Project has provided access roads and electricity transformers to the community. Already, a welder, Sonny Ofe, is counting his blessings for the location of this transformer close to his business. We are happy that uh, we're no more buying of uh, diesel again. We use the lights to walk. Whenever we get the light, we work and our business is growing. The working of the Project Global Memorandum of Understanding in addressing key development concerns from neighboring communities is closely tied to the progress of work on the project. 
The Uva Mugwe community in Ugeli North in Delta State is providing all the support the project team needs to ensure a hitch-free delivery. They are proud owners of a brand new Hyas bus which is being used to reduce the transportation hardships commonly faced by the people in the area. SPDC is at the forefront of gas utilization in Nigeria, having pioneered its production and delivery to consumers for over 40 years. Today, SPDC is the single largest supplier of gas, providing about 45% of Nigeria's domestic supplies, a high percentage that is used for power generation. Nigeria has huge domestic gas potential, and with right infrastructure, solid regulatory and commercial frameworks, the projects necessary for sustained economic growth and diversity can be set off. SPDC has already led the way with the soda projects. On maturation, these projects will not only deliver natural gas to meet domestic use and export requirements, soda will contribute to a brighter future and improved quality of life for the people of Nigeria.